Welcome back to any machine learning tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about CatBoost classifier. We are going to talk about the logic behind the algorithm and how it works. Then we are going to code it in Python. And at the final, we are going to do hyperparameter tuning and talk about the parameters model has. Let's start coding. So I will be using VS code, but you can use any code editor that you want. And I'm going to create a file like CatBoost classification dot IPMB. It's going to be a Jupyter notebook. And then I'm going to select my kernel 3.11.4 I'm going to write catboost classification and let's talk about the concept so catboost which is the short version of categorical boosting is a powerful machine learning algorithm based on gradient boosting over decision trees it is designed to handle categorical features effectively making it a strong performer in classification tasks with mixed data types the algorithm focuses on reducing prediction shift and handling overfitting by incorporating novel techniques like ordered boosting and symmetric trees, which we are going to talk about them both in detail right now. So, CatBoost is a gradient boosting algorithm again, which means it builds an ensemble of decision trees in a sequential manner where each tree is designed to correct the errors made by the previous one. Unlike traditional gradient boosting algorithms, CatBoost introduces innovations such as, as we talked, ordered boosting and categorical feature encoding. And let's talk about them. So let's firstly talk about the ordered boosting. So this technique helps us to prevent target leakage by ensuring that at each step, the prediction is made only using data that would have been available at training time. And at the symmetric tree side, CatBoost uses symmetric trees where each split in the tree occurs at the same level, leading to faster predictions and reduced overfitting. So let's start coding. At the first place, we are going to make our imports. We will say from catboost import catboost classifier. And next, we will say from scikit-learn.datasets import make classification. And I will say from scikit-learn.model selection import train test split. From scikit-learn.matrix import accuracy score. So, we are going to use CatBoost classifier for creating our machine learning model, make classification for creating our data set, train test split for splitting our data into training and testing sets, accuracy score for evaluating the model performances. And we are going to start by creating a data, then we are going to train a base model without any parameter operation, and then nextly, what we are going to do is we are going to do hyperparameter tuning, which optimizing the model's parameters for getting better predictions. So let's firstly create our data, X and Y, and I will say make classification from scikit-learn, number of samples, let's say thousand, and next up we will say number of features is going to be 20, and I'm going to set the number of informative like, let's say 14, and number of redundant like six. So. I'm going to make this run. Next, I'm going to show you the X matrix we have with 20 features and Y vector we have. We are going to have a binary classification problem since we are going to have ones and zeros as label in our data. And now we are going to do train test split. So I will say X train, X test, Y train, Y test is going to be equal to the train test split. I will say X, Y, I'm going to set the test size as 0.2 like this. So a quick summary on the concept. We are going to split our data into training set and testing set. Training set are X train and Y train. Test set is X test and Y test. We are going to train our model with X train and Y train. We are going to use our model for making predictions on X test and we are going to compare the predictions with the actual y values we have, which are y test values. So by specifying the test size as 0.2, we are going to have the 20% in the testing set and 80% in the training set. So we have 1000 samples and 800 is going to be in the training set, x train and y train, and 200 is going to be in the x test and y test. So we have our x train, x test, y train, y test ready. Let's train our base classifier. So I will say model and I'm not going to pass any parameter inside. I will just initialize the catboost classifier 
Next up, I will say model dot fit x train and y train our training set. So it returns something like that. In here, we can see that remaining time and at the end we are going to have our new cell now we have our model ready and we can make predictions with it like i can say model.predict and i can pass my x test in here and i'm going to get my predictions like this in an array okay we got our predictions and we got our true values of y by the way if you want to make predictions let's say for a single data point you need to pass that in a two-dimensional format and in the same order with the x and with the same feature number so you need to pass a two-dimensional array with 20 features in this case so we can just take something like x and we can say we can copy that and we can just say model.predict and i'm going to open brackets firstly then i'm going to paste this one and we are going to get our predictions in here for these x values we are going to get the prediction zero as a result and let's say that you are training your CatBoost model with two features, then you need to pass two features in here with the same order in the X. Okay, so we can make predictions like this. Now let's store them in something like Y predictions. And it's going to be executed model predict X test. And let's see what's going to be the base score we are going to get. I will call accuracy score. I will give Y test, which is my true Y values and Y predictions. So it's 0.50. Now it's time for improving that using hyperparameter tuning. So first I'm going to create something like hyperparameter tuning. And I want to talk about the parameters of the cat boost that we can optimize. So I'm going to one by one on parameters. So I will say iterations, it's going to be a parameter. And this is the number of boosting rounds. And we are going to have learning rate. It controls how quickly the model adapts. We are going to have depth and it controls the maximum depth of the individual trees. By the way, I'm writing like underscores because we need to give them in the parameter grid like this. So it's, we are going to be familiar with the concept. And we have L2 leaf reg, which stands for regularization. And this is the L2 regularization term for the model. Helps in reducing overfitting. Next up, we have border count. And this is number of splits for numerical features affects how fine-grained the feature splits are. So these are going to be the parameters that we are going to tune. So I will say from scikit-learn.model selection import grid search cross-validation. Next, I'm going to define parameter grid like this and I will say iterations and we can say 100, 200. I'm not going to give out of numbers because I want this to run fast but the more numbers that you pass inside this list, the more parameters you try for optimizing the model performance and a possible chance of finding a better model. But a, it has a computational cost. So you can extend this list in the way that you want. Like you can add 50, 300 to this iterations parameter, completely up to you. I'm going to run a small one on grid search. Learning rate, I will say 0 0.01 and 0 0.1. Next, I will say depth and 4 and 8 is going to be OK. Let's add 6 too. Next up, I'm going to add my legalization term like this. And I want to pass 1, 3 and 5 in here. Next up, I want to say border count. And I will say 32, 64 and 128. So it's going to be our parameter grid. And for a quick summary, we are going to try every combination of parameters in here and it's going to return us the best performing ones. So let's set it. I will say grid search and it's going to be equal to the grid search cross validation. Not like this, like this. And we will give estimator. It's going to be cat boost classifier like this. Next, we are going to give parameter grid it's going to be a to the parameter grid and let's set the cross validation as 3 so cross validation 3 now i'm going to make this run we set our grid search with three faults and i will say grid search.fit x train y train so 
it's going to be fitting like this. If you don't want to see this text, we can do that. I'm going to just make it stop and I'm going to initialize it in here like Webos EQ0. So I'm going to make this run again. I'm going to make this run again. And now we have a clear page. So I'm going to be re-recording when this finishes. So it's finished. Now we can see the best parameters selected. Like we can say grid search and I'm going to say best parameters like this. And our best parameters in this grid is 32 for the border count, 8 for the depth, 200 for the iterations, 1 for the L2 regularization, and 0.1 for the learning rate. And now we can use these parameters, the model with these parameters, to make predictions using grid search best estimator the predict and I'm going to say X test so actually we need a lowercase on that side now we get an array like this let's compare it with our true Y values so I'm going to say Y predictions tuned and it's going to be equal to that next up I'm going to call accuracy score on Y test and Y predictions tuned so it's 0.90 right now. We really improved the performance. So it was 0.50 and now it's 0.90. So with hyperparameter tuning, we tuned our parameters and get a really better result. So let's summarize what we did in this video. We started by talking about the cat boost and its features. Then we make our imports, we create our data. Normally it works really, really well with categorical data but we worked on numerical ones you can also use categorical features and i showed you the x matrix we have and the y vector next up we split our data using train test split and we initialized our model using catboost classifier in here then we trained our base model without any parameter operation next up what we do is we make predictions with the base model we trained and I showed you how we can make predictions with single data points. And then we make predictions, save them in Y predictions, then we get our accuracy score. Next, we talked about the hyperparameters the model has, and we imported grid search for parameter tuning. We defined our grid and set the grid search. Next up, we trained our grid search in here. We find the best parameters. We make predictions with the best estimator which has this parameter zone. Next up, we called the accuracy score and it's 0.90 right now. And that was it for this CatBoost tutorial. Thanks for watching this tutorial on CatBoost algorithm. I have a machine learning tutorials playlist where I have more than 40 videos just like this one. You can reach that playlist from the cards of this video or from the link in the description. Also, I'm sharing a new data science video every week on my channel. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos. Have a great day.